I'm going to show you how to create a really cool Valentine's Day book cover for your no content and low content books using completely free tools. Now Valentine's Day is only two months away so it's important if you're going to create these books to get them out there now so that they get into Amazon, they get indexed, all your keywords get indexed and then they've got a good chance of, of ranking and hopefully, fingers crossed, making some sales. Now a few days ago I did do a video on this niche which was popular and in that video I discussed the market, the keywords, the resources for creating Valentine's Day notebooks and also some of the different types of notebooks which were the blank line notebooks, the, the love journals and the blank coupon books. So if you haven't seen that video I suggest watching that, learning about the market and then coming back to this video where I'll show you how to create a cover for one of those books and I'll also show you where to find uh, an interior that I provide, a free blank lined interior that you can again you can upload directly to Amazon. Now we're going to be creating our book today in Canva and it's free to use, it's free to create an account and you can download the cover there as a PDF which you can then directly upload to KDP. So go over to canva.com and sign up for a free account. When you've done that you'll be presented with this page and then all you need to do is click on create a design. Then click on custom dimensions. Now this is going to be a six by nine inch notebook or, or journal. That's a common size for these type of notebooks. And today this is principally for a blank line journal, but you can use what I'm gonna show you to create the cover for any sort of journal. And obviously, if you were doing a bigger journal, an 8.5 by 11, you would change the dimensions that you're going to put here in these boxes. Now we need the correct dimensions. So this is going to include the size for the back cover, plus the front cover, and the bit down the middle for the spine. Now I'll show you where to get those dimensions. Go to bookow.com and then click on free create space dash KDP cover template generator. And then you will scroll down to the bottom and where it says width, put in six. And these are all measurements in inches. Then height is nine, page count 120. Then you can leave the next two boxes blank. Then just go down to your email address, enter your email address in both boxes, click on the sent to email and click on email cover template and you'll be emailed the template for this cover. And then when you open it, it will tell you what size it should be. Now for a six by nine, it will be 12.52 inches by 9.25 inches. So you click on create and you'll open up this blank template. Now what you'll need to do is click on uploads on the left here. And then that template that you've just downloaded you will need to drag into Canva or just click on Upload Media, find your file and upload it here to Canva. And this is gonna be our template for our book. Now I've got one here that I've already uploaded, so I'm just going to click on that, and then just drag it to one corner where it'll click into place and then just drag the other corner down to fill that page that we've just created. Now this is important because we want to get our graphics here in the middle of this space. So within this, sort of pinky red border because the book will be sort of trimmed and so we don't want our graphics, our images being cut off as well. So that's all set up nicely. So we can just now place our graphics, our words that we're going to put there. So now we need to come up with ideas for our cover. Now, humor, funny quotes, that type of thing sell very well on Valentine's Day. Very similar to you know, to Valentine's Day cards, Christmas cards, Mother's Day cards, Father's Day cards, humor often sells. Now, one of my favorite resources to get funny quotes, funny sayings, is to go to Pinterest and just put in something like Valentine's funny quote or Valentine's funny saying, humorous quote, that type of thing. And then you've got all these that you can pick from. Now, I did discuss issues around copyright in the previous video, so if that concerns you, do go and watch that video. So if we scroll down here, I'm going to just look for something that stands out 
and that we can use. And here's one I quite like the look of. You're hotter than the bottom of my laptop. So we're going to use that. So we go back to Canva and then we're going to think up a design. Now you're hotter than the bottom of my laptop. So I'm thinking something along the lines of a laptop. So what we can do is go to elements and just search for laptop. Now you can see I've already searched for this and you can scroll down and find something that looks appropriate. Now I want something, I want to write the words on the screen of this laptop. So the laptop needs to be facing us. Now this one here, I like the look of, so I'm just gonna double click on that. Well, you don't need to double click, just click once. And then we can just drag that around. Now the importance of having our template here is clear to be seen in that we can drag our picture and just position it so that it's within that pinky red border. Now I wanna make this as large as possible because I want to put some writing on that computer screen. So I don't want it too small. Now I don't normally put my graphics when I'm doing things like this and quotes right in the center. I just move it up towards the top slightly. Okay, that's fine. Now I want to put a background on this and we're just gonna go th uh, for a black background so that it stands out. Black backgrounds often work well because they're nice and bold, they're clear and you know anything you write on them tends to stand out. So just go to elements again and click on shapes and click on the square. So now we've got our square here. Again, we put that into one corner, we'll click into place and then just drag across. Don't worry that it's covering our computer for the moment. And we want this to be black. So just click on this colored square, click on the black color. We've got our black background. So now we need to click on position and move it backwards, boom. So there we are. We've got our laptop now and we're gonna put some writing on that screen. So now we go to text and just click on add subheading. Okay, and we're just gonna write here our quote. So you don't worry about the font for the moment and make sure alignment is set on center like so. So now we can just drag this into position. We'll just reduce the size of that for the moment. We'll need to, to change this when we get our font. So now we just need to highlight all our text and choose a font. Now for this, I'm going to choose this one called Gagolin, which seems to fit well with the style of this uh, laptop here. And I'm just gonna increase the size of it slightly. Now, I think we can make this a bit better than just white. So I'm just gonna highlight the text again. Now I'm gonna go over to effects and I'm gonna click on neon. Okay, now I want this to stand out on the computer screen. So I'm just gonna click on the computer and the screen is pale blue. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna make the screen black. There we go, looking a bit better already. But a white, white sort of glowing text, neon text doesn't look particularly attractive. So I'm gonna change the color of that by highlighting the text again. Going over to this little button here where it says text color, clicking on that. Now you could pick one of these colors and something like that would probably look, yeah, okay, not too bad. But I just want to adjust it myself slightly. So I'm gonna click on new color and just adjust this slider. And I want something that looks good and stands out. Now you could have a, a green font like so, you know, to give it that sort of computer type appearance. But I want something a bit more neon -y, and I think blue would, would stand out well against the, the computer here, the pink computer, something like that. And we're going to increase it as well. I want to try and get this as large as possible so it's easily read. So that as it is would be absolutely fine. I'll show you how to do a different design in a second. So now what you need to do is click on download. Now the file type we want is a PDF print. So you just click on PDF print, then click on download. Give it a second to prepare the design. And that has now been downloaded to the computer. And here we have our PDF cover like so. And this is ready to upload directly to KDP. So when you go into the KDP platform, and you go onto the second page where it says book cover. I've already got a cover here uploaded. You would just click on upload your file and then you would just upload that file that you've just created. Now I said I'd show you just a slightly different cover. So we're gonna use the same wording. We're gonna get rid of the computer 
I'm going to change the font. This is just to give you some extra ideas. I'm going to change the font to Bukhari script. I'm going to enlarge that and just move that into position. Now I'm just going to make this black background transparent so that we can see underneath our template. And we're just going to increase the size of that text slightly, position it around about in the middle. I want to change the color to a pinky color, like so. Then we can click on our background and turn the, the transparency back up. Although we don't, don't need this background now because we are actually going to pick a background. And I'm going to choose one called Blue Fire, which is this one here, which is a free background. Now, just on a small side note, when you are looking at backgrounds and some of these elements, some of them have got a little crown on. And in order to use those, you would need to actually have a, a Canva Pro account, which would cost you um, money. But if you're going to create a lots of books, you know, using this method, that might be worthwhile something considering. But everything I've showed you today is free on Canva and you can use to create your own covers. There's no issues around uh, copyright, that type of thing. So we're going to have this blue flame here. So it's going to click on that, drag it across and we're going to get rid of our black background. I'm going to get rid of our template. And there we have our background here. Now what we're going to need to do is flip this horizontally and we're going to just double click on it and increase the size of it because I want to drag that across. So now we've increased the size. I'm just going to drag that across to over here, click outside. And there we have another sort of a book cover design. This has, well, this looks to me more like a sort of a, a 1980s Miami Vice type feel to it which I quite like actually. So there you've got a couple of quick ways of creating two different book covers. Now, you want the interior. I'm going to show you somewhere quick to get an interior. I've got a Gumroad shop where I have some free assets. There's some paid keywords there, but I do have some free, free assets. One of them being aligned interior. So if you go over to Gumroad, I'll leave the link below and just scroll down and you'll see this one here called lined paper. Click on it and then you and you put in zero here because it's absolutely free. And then you click on add to cart and then it'll take you through the process. Download that. And again, it will download as a 120 page PDF file. Again, which you can upload here in your KDP dashboard by just clicking on upload paper manuscript and then just uploading that file that you've downloaded from Gumroad. So there you go. This video has taken, I don't know how long it is, about 10, 15 minutes to do. That's how quick you could create your cover and create your interior. Now, if you want to know about the, the keywords, uh, what to put in the title and subtitle, go and watch that other video that I talked about earlier. Again, I'll leave the link to that below where I go through what to put in the title, what to put in the, the subtitle, and then write a, a description, put in some keywords, and then you're good to go. Now, at the moment, it is taking a little while for books to be approved on, on KDP. That's due to the demand that's there at the moment. Lots of people are uploading. Plus, I think the staff there have probably got uh, a lot to do as well. So the earlier you get on with this, the better. Um, you don't want to leave it, you know, two weeks before uh, Valentine's Day to start doing this because by the time it gets approved um, and then starts to get into the Amazon system, it's probably too late. So the earlier, the better. And now is the perfect time to get going with that. So that's it. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, but make sure you do hit the subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and until next time, goodbye.